Hey, once again, everybody, Tim with Tim's Computer Fix.net. How about this, okay? Here's a MSI B550 Gaming Edge Wi Fi motherboard. Pretty nice. I have here a Ryzen. Ryzen 7 5800X. A nice dark rock slim be quiet cooler. I love these coolers. This is a 180 watt TDP. This processor is 108 watts TDP. We're going to go with some 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 T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4. This is 32 gigs of RAM, 3600 megahertz. That'll do just fine. Oh, no, we're going to go with a little bit of a one terabyte uh, NVMe M.2. Let's see. Oh goodness gracious! The thousand watt EVGA Gold certified power supply. A 3080. RTX 3080. Now, these at the time of this video are very difficult to come by. I'm putting these parts into a Fractal Defined 7 compact computer case. My customer walked in with the processor with the video card and with this case and he told me that I want you to build around this he wants it small he wants it quiet and this is the case that he brought me this case is several years old there's been many reviews on it and I'll probably touch on it briefly so with these components I'm not so sure that uh, this is going to get proper airflow. We're going to do some tests with this. I'm going to cram all of this into this compact case and we're going to see how well it performs.
So here's the case. I mean, it really is not a bad looking case, uh, to be fair. But these are the only intake vents that they have. There's other computer cases that kind of work the same way with that. But um, basically with the reviews that I've seen, they've all had mentioned that this case has poor airflow. So that's one of the things we're going to determine. Another one of the things that I've seen online is that um, pretty much, uh, I mean, watch this. So I can just I can just take my finger here, my thumb, and I'm pushing against this back door, and it just comes right off. There's no screws or nothing holding that in. So if you're trying to work with some cable management back here, and your cables, like they do often on computer builds, are pushing against this door, we may have an issue, but I'm going to do my best to work around that. Okay, so here's the final result and I must say I'm a little bit more impressed than I thought I would be about this case now this case comes stock with 140 millimeter front fan 120 millimeter rear fan obviously you can always add fans in whatever configuration you like also, this top can be removed and can be replaced with a mesh type top that actually doesn't look bad. And you can mount fans up top. I'm going to test this for air cooling and how well it dissipates heat. Let's turn it around because I want to talk about, so this is after cable management here, but everybody or other videos have talked about you know the the panel design and you might be in trouble so this is what the rear of it back panel side looks like here with you know minimal wire management it's really all you need I mean that's kind of typical of what, what you see sometimes behind a you know back side of a case let's just let's just get this uh, back panel on here and let's see how difficult it is and let's see how things hold up Well You know what I really don't see an issue with that that back panel went right on there. No problem. Okay, we have our OCCT open here, ready to go. This is a great overclocking checking tool. It'll stress test your CPU and GPU. We've got HW info open, show our temps here. We've got our CPU temp showing here, also over here. Okay, we got our side panel back on. We're just sitting here letting it sit for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and run these tests. This is with the side panel on, completely closed up. Fans are still in the stock uh, configuration. Let's drop the GPU temps there. We got the temps here for the CPU. We've got our HW info open showing temps. Now let's go ahead and change up to our CPU test here. CPU and we'll start stress testing that start and now we can see our CPU going up to 100% usage and there goes our temperatures climbing all right we'll give this up to five minutes let's see what these results are we're approaching the five minute mark here for this test and our processor temperatures are up to 67 C so that is a six degree increase with the cover on 
but still acceptable uh, still still acceptable temperatures for sure so let's shut that down and let's go to our GPU and see how it affects that there we go GPUs up to 100% we'll run this for five minutes and see what these results are okay we're approaching the five minute mark once again GPUs temps not that different from opened or closed side panel 78 we just hit 78 C that's up two degrees that's still very acceptable 100% GPU RTX 3080 so that's not too bad boy you can really feel the heat coming out of the back of that card so most of the hot air is being pushed out so far it's not the worst it's not as bad as I thought it could be could be better but um yep this is proof here so let's let's try switching out this top cover here hey just a little bonus here I've loaded up prime 95 this has been running for a while and we're sitting pretty steady at 67 C not bad not bad at all okay I've switched out for this mesh top which allows going to allow that heat to rise up out of there which I would have thought would, would help things a bit and already I've let it sit here for a while at idle the CPU is at 36 C let me open up OCCT here so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to once again one last time we're going to test go back to the CPU and we're going to stress test processor is at 100 percent temperatures are rising five minutes I'll be back all right approaching the five minute mark this is a little bit of a surprise to me no change in load temps even with the top grate change here 67c which is what it was when we had this solid top so make no change there let's see what the motherboard temp is uh 39c There we go. GPU is being stress tested. Be back in five. Approaching the five minute mark. So no changes with the GPU stress test temperatures hovering right around 78 degrees. Where the big changes is what the temps are on the CPU. They are actually three degrees lower. We were running the GPU test when all that heat rises from the video card up to the top of the case. It, it's giving us like a three degree difference. It's, it's hovering. It's been hovering right around 66 and a half. It's up to 67. So two or three degrees lower uh, temps during the GPU stress test, which is pretty good. Which so then that confirms that definitely the mesh using the mesh uh, top is to your advantage now look I'm quite sure that if we added a fan in the front and we added a fan in the top most likely you're going to get even better results but to be honest the temps are not as bad as I thought they were going to be with this case even though you have these thin side intake vents here still ends up being okay Tips ends up being just fine in my opinion could be a little better but most certainly aren't bad so that bodes well for this case in my opinion uh, I love the way everything how everything fits in it you know what real quick since we have these parts in here let's run a semi bitch see what we see what our uh, see what our scores are here we go a little bit of semi bitch All right, there's our final score, 15154. Very nice. Just under our 16 core 32 thread 1950X Threadripper. So 
that's pretty darn good. I was a little concerned based upon some of the reviews I've seen about heat issues. Heat, the airflow could be a bit better. You would probably would want to add maybe a, another front fan and maybe add a top fan. Definitely go and stick with the mesh top if at all possible. Pretty darn pleased with both the case and the temps. If you're thinking about getting this Fractal Define 7 Compact case, I would say don't be scared of it. Uh, you just saw right here, it, it could do you pretty well. Uh, there's even, you know, plenty of room for water cooling in there, along with all these high-end parts. So, uh, yep, ho hope this helps somebody out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.